Lisa Connor McKenna here. I'm going to read my book in Deep Dark Wood, which is all about magic. And we could do a bit of magic at the moment. The story is set on what happens when the house next door gets sold and Rory and Mia get a new neighbour. They've been hoping for a boy or girl at their own age, but they get somebody very different in the book. Um, to set the scene at the beginning, there's been a terrible storm all night, a terrible wild west wind blowing. And as dawn is breaking, Roy and me awake to find, to hear that a big removal van outside moving their new neighbour into their house. They look out in the early morning and they see these removal men and all the furniture almost flying up the driveway, the chairs and lamps. And of course, the men lift out next thing, this big, almost like a cage, a big black box. And Roy and me are very curious as to what's in this box and what it holds. An old lady suddenly appeared from nowhere, darting in and out beside the removal men. Caught in the wind, she flew around, giving orders, directing them with the box up the driveway. She was small and dainty and clad top to toe in black. The wind catching her long skirt and wraparound jacket. Her face was hidden by a wide brimmed black hat, which was tied firmly to her head like a bonnet. Her tiny legs and feet, though encased in clumpy black boots, fought to stay on the ground as she was tossed about and lifted in the air. She looks like she's going to blow away, murmured Mia. Rory gazed at her too and wondered, what on earth had she hidden in that big black covered box of hers? Whatever it was, the men were handling, handling it very, very carefully as it was precious glass. The old woman jumped out in and out between the men, shouting at them and checking the load. Suddenly she stopped. Her head spun round and tilted upwards. Rory and Mia could see her face clearly. She's Ancient, gasped Roy, shocked by the strange withered face and piercing grey eyes that looked in their direction. Mia stood transfixed. The old woman was staring right up at the window, right up at her. Her gaze was unflinching, as if she'd expected to find Mia there waiting and watching. Roy pulled at his sister's sleeve, dragging her away from the window. Something in the old woman's gaze had unsettled him too. She's just weird. She's like a witch, Rory, said Mia anxiously. A witch in a story, a witch in a book. She was staring at me. I could feel her eyes right on me. They stood hidden behind the blue and white gingham curtains as the old woman seemed to sniff the air like a bloodhound. Then with what looked like a smile, she turned away and set about the rest of her moving, the wind lifting her up onto the doorstep. By the time the bright shafts of early morning sunshine lit the sky, the mysterious wind had softened to a gentle breeze and it was breakfast time in the Murphy household and time to get ready for school. The brown van had disappeared along the lake road, back towards Glen Kilty, and the new neighbour had moved in, shutting her hall door firmly. She's a witch, thought Mia to herself, sitting at the table in her school uniform eating her breakfast. She's a witch and she's come to live next door. If you want to find out more about what happens to Mia, Anne Rory and their new neighbour, Belle of the Witch, got to read in Deep Dark Wood.